The winner's final side got the jump over Foxy Grandpa on points. And Dizzy right behind him. That's right, that's right. How crazy is it that third, fourth, fifth, and sixth in pro competition points, international? Yeah, I don't think that's a surprise at all. I don't you think know, it's a surprise either, since... either that we're seeing a Sonya Blade Mirror and we're seeing Onion Ring straight. By the way, Grand Finals Definitely match, not. Okay. Definitely not. <laughs> Aquaman, uh, I read on Twitter that she was not top tier or high tier. Can you confirm? Yep. I mean, I also thought this was going to be a Kotal Khan Grand Finals with the up play. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> So these these are two guys and no or sorry two players I should say that have not given up on this character throughout Round all the changes. Two, fight. Yeah, I really don't think that they should. She just has a lot going for her. You can see the space control, the movement, the damage, the mix up. She just really has a lot of stuff going for her. There is no nerf to this character that doesn't change the fact that that onion ring is one of the biggest neutral controllers. Yeah, I mean, and not just that. The satellite drop is huge. As I said, oh, way over commitment. And that's something I think you don't see quite as often from Dizzy. So maybe he's trying to change things up, but game one very quickly to go to Tekken Master. Yeah, just in control. Has Tekken Master been throughout this entire tournament? Not letting Man, go Scott at all. Have a field day in the in the chat right now. <laughs> I gotta get that guy on the horn. <laughs> just just copy and paste the whole thing. Oh, absolutely right. Uh, oh, I, I don't think it's gonna be a switch. Dizzy basically will go to Sonya. Oh, he does. Oh, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's not yet. Not yet. Northern variation. Do it! Oh. Do it! Sonya. He's definitely Sonya. gonna go to Sonya. I just spoiler. Stand down. Tekken Master wants to play Kotal, that's the thing. He really does want to play Kotal. But he has yeah. he has pressures where he's he plays to win. You have to respect that. Fight. Oh, of course, of course. There's money and points and all that stuff on the line. And it There's... would be silly to fly from where he lives to where this is a super long distance and not do the best you can away. We have just a bad idea. And if you guys thought Fortnite got deleted, you guys are watching it here. <laughs> okay, goes in with the low. And Dizzy getting the grab. What's he gonna do here? He's most often tried to go in. Oh! oh. The rip no discipline. Never happened. Know, Round know. number two, all the way for okay, game number right, two we'll of Grand Finals. Let's just, let's we'll just move, just move along here. Move through. along. Nothing to see here. Second Master getting another round on the board. Ooh. Yeah, and the, oh, the tech though. Both with very similar ideas. Both one of the down three afterwards. The low, and that does work here. So although it, there's been a lot of back and forth, it feels, nevertheless, Tekken Master threatening to win four straight rounds. Honestly, Tekken Master's control, and he's he's playing, you know, they're playing really similar games. Tekken Master has been better at the recognition of pokes and what to do afterwards. He has he has uh, done a lot of reversal back one mix-ups on Dizzy. 516, okay. Woo! And then just into the stand one after that. How about that? What a button choice from Tekken Master right there. Did that kill so, okay, off of the end ring. Up in any gonna... individual round? What was that? I was about to say, that, that may have jailed off the hits of, of the onion ring right there. Yeah, just yeah really I, I imagine up. it did. Yeah. Um, no, no, this has been clean. It hasn't felt like a blow up in, in any individual round. And yet, four straight rounds for Tekken Master. Threatening it's just for Tekken Master run playing so well. He's he's just playing so well. Dizzy's not doing necessarily much wrong. It's Tekken Master outplaying him in a couple of situations. You know, again, up close, he's making the better decisions. He's, I think, recognizing things a little bit cleaner on block, on hit, getting those micro decisions. And he's he's been the the more you know zone space heavy, but has been fighting Dizzy up in his face this entire time. So playing both sides of the field ball. Oh, 
Okay, you can really get a sense of how each individual player wants to play. On the left, Tekken Master throwing a lot of fireballs, only when it risks. Just like that. This is that's a, just a very Tekken Master thing to have happen right there. For him to take the risk of neutral ducking in that spot and getting the punish on it, because this read was right. There we go, Dizzy, putting himself in a uh, fatal blow territory. Roll, maybe. Yeah. yeah, that's true at least. So Dizzy, if he finds the next hit, can take the overhead. And then wow. grab. If there was something out of Dizzy, whatever it was, didn't focus. cut it. It's now tournament point Tekken Master. And what did that come off of? What, what we've talked about for, from Tekken Master this entire tournament so far, him going backwards, right? Zoning spacing incredibly well, and then making that choice, that opportune moment to just dash up mix. And it's exactly what just won him that round. Was he? He walked back for a good five seconds straight, and then flipped the light switch. That was so good! That, that's exactly a problem that other people have had. Jumping over onion rings and getting anti-aired by the meter burn on it. And Tekken Master up in the sky, he had the recognition that he could do with the Amplify right there. He has the counter to that thing that he's been using so well. Yeah, that's, that, that's a problem for everyone else against him. And he's one hit away right now, David, for Tekken! And he's doing it! Oh my god! Three. Tekken Master 3-0 takes Brazil Game Show on the pro competition. Not just 3-0, but 6-0 in rounds right there was Tekken Master versus Dizzy. He didn't lose a round right there. It was a blow-up. It was a blow-up, honestly, Aquaman, by Tekken Master. Who there you see I on mean, the stage, yo. Yes, I'm sure that crowd is loud. I know Tekken that they Master. wanted somebody from Brazil to do the job. Didn't happen. And yet, nevertheless, they saw a lot of really great Mortal Kombat right there. He dropped two games all tournament, one to Mr. Bruno and one to Killer Shinnok. It was only the Brazilians that were able to okay. put some kind of dent in Tekken Master's armor as he is going to be the champion here today. Okay. Shout out to Brazil yet again for doing that. I, I really enjoyed that. I think that's super cool to watch how these two players use the same character in two quite different ways and how one of them, again, all the same tools, all the same tools, uses some of those tools differently in different spots, in ways that maybe the other guy hadn't done before, or certainly wasn't doing in that match, regardless. Very fun to watch uh, how how they play differently like that. And also well, congratulations to second Dizzy for the second place as well. Get, getting those points. He he went there for two things, J just like every event, it seems. He, he, he went there for points and capital, and he got both. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, but really, though, shout-outs to Dizzy. Super strong player. Made it into second place overall. Uh, and he continues to look like one of the best players in the world. And now, because of this, let me refresh on the points, because, of course, the standings for the year-long points... They update, update automatically. live. They do. So Tekken Master now is in third place overall, putting that Fox Grandpa in the dustbin in fourth place. Tekken Master with 1170 overall, and then just a little bit behind him, Foxy Grandpa at uh, 1060. And then there is a drop off, but then it, next at fifth place is Dizzy. He has 745 points overall. So I feel like Dizzy has to be pretty comfortable at this point. The cutoff is the top 12, and currently 12th is Samij with 415, and 13th is 330. That's Kebo. So there's a pretty safe margin, I feel, yeah, for somebody there's like Dizzy at this stage. There's a 100-point jump in there that a lot of people are going to be after at ECT, which is their final chance. Yes. No, no, there's a second, second to last chance uh, with NEC coming in December uh, to try to close that gap. You know, you, you've, you, you've, 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 you've got guys that are that have had the performances: Combat, Kevo, Video Games, Yo, Killer Shinnok, like we just saw, Gur, um, all these players that are just outside that could have a couple of runs in a row and make this final combat. But you got Samij, pretty good player himself, is going to try to gatekeep that number 12 spot. You know, you, you, you have Samij and Scar, and even the jump there you talked about, just to even get to 12, 12 to 11, another over 100 point jump, uh, just to reach where right. Scar's at above Samij. So it's, it's going to be hard for these guys, especially with potentially everyone else that's going to be in their way. That's there naturally for the tournament, and they're naturally for the, the prize pool that is put out by the Mortal Kombat 11 Pro competition. Yeah, that prize pool uh, is in addition to whatever the entry was. Oh, maybe actually that doesn't work in Brazil, now that I think about it. I think there actually are not entries in that way. But anyway, the guaranteed prize pool for first place is $5,000. For second is 3000 
And for third is 2000. I know for a uh, fact. So that will be I know for a fact, 5K for Tekken. As I say, for, for Tekken Master, I know that half of that covered his trip. Right, just to put things in, right. just to put things in perspective for you guys that plane that plane for was sure. heart wrenching <laughs> <laughs> and so they are bringing everyone out to the stage right now again sorry guys for no audio we are getting so many different feeds and things oh, together. they're, they're bringing out yeah wait wait a minute what they're what getting at literal that, care packages are these lunch boxes what do we got here that's that's just a chest full of gaming goodies <laughs> 